Howdy, howdy, howdy. We are here now in grand finals between these two players who, of course, if you've been paying attention in the Westchester scene for the past uh, half a decade about... Yeah, yeah these guys oh, no, are... No, wait, what am I talking about? Half a decade? Probably close to, like, four quarters of a decade. <laughs> um, these but guys I, are the tried and true for sure. Yeah, I don't know how many monthlies we've had with these two people. Both so oh, Stitch Face. Okay, it's gone. Um, but... Tonight, it seems like maybe Ling is the one who's on fire. He yeah. took it in winner's finals. He's the one sitting on the winner's side of Grants here. And looking at this game, he is up almost. It might just be three stocks to one in a moment yeah. from now. Actually, uh, Ryan, Ryan, you had us with the info. Prior to winner's final, it was actually 7-7, like, lifetime in ultimate. It's what? It was 7-7, like. They both had seven games on each other. Oh. Yeah. And now it is actually Ling's favor in at, at 8-7. Might turn to 9-7 here because look at this. He's actually, that's a three stock to one lead. It's gone, but once you manage to have that much of a gap between you and your opponent, oh. it becomes so hard for them to climb back. Yeah. Alan's biggest ad adaptation that's been happening is like trying to get off ledge versus Ling is where he's gotten a lot of punish. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, Alan is a Jen. Jen. Oh, so people who are cool, people who are cool yeah. with him, we call him. Alan. Yo, he tried to connect that down air fair. Would have been an early, early stock. It happened in, in the winter side too. Yeah, dangerous right. for Ling to hang out, hang out up there. I, that was that was a very good count there. But it wasn't. Oh, oh it, it was, was enough. Wow! That was an early stock. 115 is not a bad stock to take there. 50% yeah, I mean, gap is it's really easily closed here. Yeah, this will be one heck of a comeback. And not only that, it will be a tone set for the entire rest of the set here. But let's not forget, Ling still has the lead. And this is still Ling. If any, in any instant, Jen might eat another 40% or just be trapped at the ledge for infinity. Ooh, yeah, Ling went for full, for full hop ledge trump there. It's actually interesting. I let trumping in this game is kind of uh, <laughs> uh, kind of cheeks. <laughs> At 137% on Jen. Oh, but coming alive just a little bit. This is some solid damage, but he's not able to get these huge extensions that I, he really needs right now. It's like, hey, you got to forward it. It's 5%. It's not really, oh my god, hold up. Maybe I am a dingus who doesn't know anything. One solid hit from either player at yeah. this point. You see the forward smash and that dash attack. The DI wasn't really great, but it still doesn't matter. <gasps> Two with crowds. This is not Two enough to crowds. kill, but back throw. Not do it, yeah, yeah, putting him way off stage. Let's see if he can actually get the conversion over here. He goes on for the crowd. That's still not enough, and he mashes out, realizing that <laughs> you know, he was going to try it. Oh, there oh, it is. I actually don't think he was making that, to be honest. It looked like the telly was actually under the stage. No, I'm pretty sure he would have made that. I am fairly right. certain he would have yeah. made that. The Palu teleport is It silly, was really silly. close. He was definitely making that. Ah, okay. He was definitely That's making fair. that. That's fair. Yeah. Well, also, because like, when you get interrupted before the ledge snap, it can sometimes displace you. Oh, yeah, yeah. It looks, you know yeah, it looks, mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. So it might have been going a little further than looked, but Yeah, 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 exactly. Like, listen, everybody in this game has magnet hands. <laughs> they just are able to reach through space. They bring the ledge to them. But uh, uh, I, I, even if I, if I was uh, Jen in this situation, I wouldn't be feeling bad about the game. That was a really, like, you let him run away with the game at the beginning of the set, uh, beginning of the match, and you ran it all the way back to last hit. So that's great, but also I feel like part of that is that, you know, Ling started to be under pressure, he couldn't find the kill, and then he did. You yeah. know what I mean? He won that game. Okay, so let's see here. I, I, I feel like the momentum can shift either way for either player. You're right that because Jen was playing so well by the end of that game, he has a little bit of, I mean, I don't know if I would call it momentum, but he's definitely driving forward. Yeah. Yo, hitting the ledge cancel on the moving platform is actually wild. <laughs> I think actually it might help. You think it might help? I don't know. I feel like whenever you hit anything moving, you're not dead somehow. You're still not dead somehow. <laughs> you're doing great, buddy. <laughs> okay, there it is. <laughs> Yeah, Good discipline to not oh. back here there. You know he was in shield. And also, you saw the crouch there. I think he was expecting a like immediate instant back air. Because yeah. that's exactly what that crouch, I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, if he rising back air, he was. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, the tech. Realizing that he's been getting two frame. Now he's ready for it. 
Well, the last game he would have died anyway. That was untackable when he got <laughs> hit by the back here. Yeah, that runoff there is going to take. Oh, oh not... my god! Yeah. It's still not enough. You know that song, Staying Alive? No. God, that's just like, I wonder what Link has in his headphones right now. Yeah, it's definitely <laughs> that. All right, now he, then he hits skip. <laughs> Next song. Now uh, it's Hungry by the Wolf by Duran Duran. Yeah. That was like a uh, max distance fair into dash tag. It's really good. Fair going to take it. Is that? Oh, it's just a normal turn up. Okay. Oh, I really like that, just sitting still and then finding, choosing his opening. Ling showing a great amount of patience right now. Okay. Still, okay. This, ah. Man, Peach is just too floating to get, like, really consistent strings together. But Jen still managing to make the most of it. When he gets a hit in, he still gets juggles. He still gets those ledge traps. And he's getting out of the corner pretty easily. I mean, when you look at the pace of the game, that's such a difference maker. The fact that Ling's in the corner, he takes a down tilt. He takes all of this damage. Jen's in the corner, he gets out with a neutral air. And now it's his turn. And it still just keeps going. I love that. That's something that Ling can, like, only Ling can do with only Peach. It's the way he <laughs> flow cancels out of to combo break. All right, high ceiling on uh, Tom and City, helping out Ling just a little bit there. But that back throw is going to do back it. Back is definitely going to do it. A little bit of rage on the board, too. Okay, but the Nair plane begins. 35%. <laughs> Palu's damage output is still so dang high. I love that Tomahawk grab. That's actually the Pete special. A little taste of her own medicine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why are you even bothering shielding, bro? Oh, it. He didn't. Is he gonna hit him again? No jump no. still, and that was so good. He that was knew. Clean. That, he knew that he was gonna be above, above the ledge. Just instantly recognized yep. it. So smart from Link. And as a result, this is an e not quite an even game, but definitely looking extremely doable for Link. Another back here, 120. I think in that situation, he's kind of showing Ling that, like, willing to stop on the platform and grab you. But, yeah. That's what gonna do. Yeah, he so he was, jumping, he was jumping at top platform on town, looking to see, like, all right, I, I can land here and grab you at any point. So I want you to try to, like, platform drop so I can hit, catch you with the back air. Yeah. No, it's, that game, like, when you think about the end of game one, going into that game two, was that, that wasn't quite a two stock, but, like, it almost felt like Yeah, it, it was close. It was, it was, it was quite... It was definitely the momentum shift that he needed. It yeah. definitely swung in his favor there. But the score still says 1-1. Mm -hmm. So And Ling, you know, he has an entire set up on Jen right now. Yep. Uh, man, if we actually get a reset, then yeah. the game will really matter. Because yeah. right now, as you said at the beginning, yeah, yeah, it was 7-7 before winner's finals. 8-7 yep. like time sets for Ling. Yep. So it's more than just this one tournament on the line. Uh -huh. It's a record. Uh, yeah, it's a record. Two. I'm right, going back to PS2 for game three. I I can agree with this. I think that's what the stage they won on game one, right? Isn't that crazy? I'm not crazy. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, he won game one on this yeah. stage. Yeah. Oh, and look at this. This is this is like what is that Palu up there? Yeah. <laughs> Even to get all of this damage, 101 percent right now on Jen, and it's pretty much uncontested in the least. Ling taking yeah. the stock with a swing. Yeah. Oh. That golf club was like, yo, tele cancel. I mean, tele tele recovery. I got you. That was two frame room. Yeah. Man, Ling is nuts sometimes. Right. I'm getting back into it with quick double up air. Oh, I like this. Look at the spacing right now between these guys. But with a quick dash attack, Ling kind of goes on the offensive. He went for that deep forward air. It's something that I've seen him play do against other players so far in the tournament. And it works out well for him. But Jen actually oh, like faded back extra far. Although at this point, like these cute little interactions aren't, don't mean that much when you still get hit and take 100. Like, yeesh. This is looking like it's about to be a three stock to one lead unless Jen can get some really big edge guard right here. No, Link makes it back to the stage. Yeah, maybe. Dash attack and <laughs> gonna cover the, the down air land. Really smart. Doesn't air dodge, doesn't panic at all. Just drifts away. And again, that Peach 
the, just the jump itself displaces her in such an awkward way that a lot of characters can struggle to actually follow through. Ooh, tries to dash attack to get out of the corner. Oh my god, is that another Mr. Saturn? He's gotten three tonight that I've seen alone. Honk. <laughs> Sorry. This is like, honestly, this, this is, is not so what Gen scary. This is just so moment. scary in your gen. You can't shield. Shield is gone as an option for you. I mean, you also have a shield in forward air. Uh, sorry, in back air and dash attack, but, you know. Honk. Sorry. Yeah. Hey! Is, I, I don't know. Sometimes when I think, like, when Peaches are that far ahead, I, I kind of get rid of the Saturn. I'm like, I don't like the, the added win condition. This is, hold on a second. Looks really good for Lane. This is basically the position he was in game one, yeah. and that almost, Went Jen to last almost hit. took yep. it. Yeah. Oh, we're kind of seeing the same story right now. Lane trapped in the corner. Going to be, oh, he spot dodges. And as a result, now Jen is the one who's stuck. This pressure, look at the movement. Oh, but I love yeah. that. The, the tele out of, out of the yeah. corner, yeah. Don't deal with the corner pressure if you teleport past it. I mean. If you you definitely get caught, yeah. that, oh my god, are you going to eat just a massive, I don't even know what Peach is going to hit you with at that point. Whatever it is, it ain't Oh, good. that's a Stitch face. Was that? I thought that was yeah. just a slant. Yes. Okay. Well, it's gone. Bling's like, this isn't a Mr. Saturn. Away with ye. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, wait, super. I, 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 Alan adjusted for him double floating, like floating away on, on every scenario. He's like, I know you're not, I'm not going to swing the first one, so I'm going to sit here, and when you float away, I'm going to jump and back air it. Yeah, and, okay, there we go. Um, uh, forward are going to take it. Yeah, and that is really good adjustment, yeah. as you said. And when you're that deep, at that point, Peach doesn't want to be air dodging. Yeah. You know, the second hit, she's already in the bottom left corner. Mm hmm without a jump. She had to jump in order to get there. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, it's kind of checkmate. I really like that as a mix-up from Jen. Uh, I think one of the dangers with that, though, is that if you decide to throw out a hitbox, yep. you know, especially, like, I'm trying to think of, like, if you just, like, float cancel back here when Jen is just trying to fall out there and drift him, that'll send him off the side. Could be interesting. We'll see exactly. Uh, All right, FD I mean, for game four. Yeah, I very interesting pick. Uh, I guess Jen is kind of confident in his juggle potential. I feel like those platforms were helping him out in the last game. You know, he was teleport canceling on them. He was using them to descend with back air. But this time around, instead, he's uh, opting for no platforms whatsoever. And here is where I think it's going to really determine whether this was a good pick, is once he gets that first hit, once he launches Ling into the air, whether he can really continue with it. All right, now Ling is the one trapping him in the corner. This is what happens when you can't teleport cancel on platforms. You're stuck. Okay, good neutral air, just continuing to rack up on damage. And Ling, already taken two games, already taken the first set. So he just needs to close out this one, and then that's it. End of the tournament, he walks away the champion. He definitely realizes that, and that's why he's playing with an aggression that we honestly haven't yeah. seen him bust out until now. Nice little grab on the turn there. Like, uh, the down throw is going to put him in the right position for a peach back here. Yeah. Everybody go watch YG's video on how to grab items and throw them. It's like a 30-minute video talking all about it. Um, I, th I think that down smash actually shield poke. I think it did, too. Yep. Down smash, listen, it, it catches spot dodge. It can shield poke. It's not. It's pretty fast, but it's an underwhelming, underwhelming move once it lands. It is definitely a shell of its former self. Uh... But I mean, it's still, we see Ling go for it a lot in those scrapping situations. Also, because the hurtbox shifts out. Oh my. Okay, Jen. He's already taken about 89%. He needs to close this first stock from Ling out immediately. Ops for the back throw. <gasps> what was that teleport? Okay. Uh, he still has him trapped there. Can he actually finish it? A spot dodge yeah. too quick. They're going to take it. Three this is stocks mountain. to one. Oh, my God. Jen almost did this in game one. He came relatively close in game three. But here he has no more room for error. He needs to do it right here, Back right now. they're going to finally find the stock. Yeah, finally, but... Oh, man. 
the amount of hits he can actually afford to take are, oh, okay. That, was that down air was, was mixed. I like that a lot. I like that too, absolutely. But it's only 39%. That's basically just like the equivalent of getting two Palunairs. They <laughs> just start calculating all percent in Palunairs. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's the unit of measurement. <laughs> Ganon forward smash. One and a half Palunairs. I actually don't know what the exact range is, but oh, man, Jen. Oh, he almost called out that, that air dodge. Boy, 85% is all that's been dished out onto Ling. Meanwhile, Jen on his last legs here, 124 trapped at the corner. A quick forward air, putting him off once again. Able to get back to the ledge, but for how long he needs to just end Ling right here, right now. That neutral air could be the start of it. Yeah, he realizes it, but he still can't commit to going off stage. The down tilt going to catch the neutral get up. Oh my god, the Ling forward air. Forward air out the corner. Yeah. It was the risk reward was there. Yeah, that was oh, man. like he could have definitely got bared and died for it, but the risk reward was there.